Hey there! Have you ever found yourself waiting around for just the perfect moment? You know, that perfection that um, so many of us run after and try to achieve? Well, I want to talk to you today a, a little bit about that. I am standing here right outside the Savannah Wildlife Refuge. And I had great plans for today. I'm down here for Thanksgiving. And I had plans to spend today all day painting here in the Wildlife Refuge. It's one of my favorite places. I ran into a few problems. Number one is the weather. If you can see behind me, it's uh, more than a little bit cloudy. It's also quite windy. We're about to have a storm move in, so it's going to be rainy in just a little bit. Second problem I ran into is the park's closed, so the wildlife refuge is closed because of the weather. And we have a truck go by. So we're supposed to have a lot of rain and we're gonna have some flooding. So they closed the park for today. So no driving through the park to my favorite spot to paint, which is a great view out over the old rice fields and in the distance back towards the city across the river. So you get that nice um, kind of contrast between the industrial side of the river and this huge wide open space of natural beauty. Not happening today, but the third thing that I, I figured out once I got here and got out of the car and got over myself was that the weather's still actually pretty beautiful. There is, there are little moments between trucks and between clouds when you get those, see that cloud behind me right now? Those beautiful moments of open space where little tiny slivers of blue come through. There's a soft light today that is just gorgeous. And once I got over my disappointment about not having lots of clear blue skies over gorgeous rice fields, then I figured out some things I wanted to paint. So even if I'm gonna have to sketch quickly, and finish the paintings back up in the studio later. There are definitely moments of beauty in between what's kind of a yucky weather situation with lots of traffic around. So, moral of story is look for beauty where you are. Don't wait around for perfection. Done is better than perfect. So, I am going to be putting the paintings that I'm working on today. They're part of the Low Country Blues series that I've got that's going to be released later this month. So if you'd like to be in on sneak peeks and early bird um, access to the collection, then be sure to click the link that's going to be down here in the comments in just a few minutes. Hey, Nicole and Barbie. It's good to see y'all. Happy thanks, big truck again. Happy Thanksgiving. So, absolutely, Debbie. It definitely works for life in general too. I think it's a store, uh, a lesson that so many of us need to learn over and over and over again. I definitely do. I preach it all the time, but it's a little bit more difficult to put it in practice yourself. So sometimes it's like a do what I say, do not necessarily what I do. But once I got out of the car and started looking around, there are lots of gorgeous spots, even here on this little layby. I am standing on um, the edge of the causeway here, and they have spots where you can pull off to photograph. So even though the park's closed, I still have a little space where I can grab to work. And there's some gorgeousness right here. And yeah, Beverly, it is chilly. It is cold, which is unusual for down here. Um, it is, it was about 33 degrees this morning. I think there was a hard frost last night. So highly unusual to be this cold. So I'm gonna just give y'all a quick glance around because you have to see how gorgeous this place is. So let me turn the camera around here. And this is out over the rice fields. And look back, you can see over the river, the industrial complexes along the Savannah River. But it's that contrast here of the old rice fields 
and man that I find so fascinating. Let me walk down here just a little bit further. And this is one of the old dikes here that I'm going to turn you around to. You can see the gate that shows us that it's closed. Like I said, these are old rice fields. I'm going to hold the camera up high so you can see over the gate. So there are these large dikes that run through what was an old rice plantation and is now the, the National Savannah Wildlife Refuge. Gorgeous place. Back over here to the causeway and the dikes on the other side of the causeway. So plenty of good stuff to look at. And I think I found at least five or six different compositions I'm gonna play with. So once again, remember, look for beauty wherever you are, no matter the weather. Don't wait around for perfection. And if you would like to have early access and sneak peeks to the upcoming Low Country Blues collection, just check for the link that I'm going to be dropping down here in the comments in just a second. Take care, everybody. And if you're in the States, happy Thanksgiving.